Pamela Anderson has shared details about her mental health and drug use and how it nearly led her down the same path as late Amy Winehouse. The Baywatch actress also thanked her children for supporting her in managing her mental health over the years and admitted that her boys were the ones who saved her from such a fate, per Radar Online. Pamela Anderson reveals fear of turning into Amy Winehouse amid drug confession. The 57-year-old actress addressed how she had to cope with the emotional and physical stress of being the tabloid's favorite party girl following her tumultuous marriage to Motley Crue drummer Tommy Lee. In an interview with Glamour, Anderson talked about famous women whose lives had taken a terrible turn, like Winehouse, a friend of hers who died in July 2011 at the age of just 27 from alcohol poisoning. She came to my show in Las Vegas. I still have her jacket with a ticket to the magic show in her pocket, Anderson said of Winehouse. She added, There were many times where I could have just gone that way, but what saved my life, and you never want to put this on your kids or my boys. Asking if she believed herself to be an addict, Anderson said, No, no, no. Never went that way. I mean, I was around a lot of them. And married to them, too. But no, I have a glass of rosé every once in a while. I'm not sober, but I don't drink, especially when I'm working. Amy Winehouse died of alcohol poisoning after going on a binge drinking following a time of sobriety, per the findings of a second inquest into her death. She was found dead on July 23, 2011, at her Camden, North London, apartment. According to the results of the second inquiry, one house's blood contained 416 milligrams of alcohol per deciliter, which was sufficient to put her into a comatose state and weaken her respiratory system, as reported by The Guardian. Paramedics discovered her fully clothed and dead, with empty vodka bottles on the floor and a laptop on her bed. Winhouse had an infamous substance habit, often using crack cocaine, heroin, and cannabis. However, she quit using drugs before a trip to Seleucia, where her alcohol consumption began to become an issue. Pamela Anderson thanks her sons for guiding her along the right path. The Baywatch actress had a turbulent period in the public eye following the online leak of her scandalous tape with her ex-husband Lee in the late 1990s. She later revealed that she attempted suicide once and compared her own experience with one house. I think, instead of trying to be this polished person, I'd rather be raw. One eye is smaller than the other, my nose is crooked, my lips are weird. Everyone is weird. Everyone has imperfections, Anderson confessed in her recent interview. The model-turned-actor revealed to being happier at present. She clarified, saying, 10 years ago, I felt like a failure. I think it was probably the last 20 years, maybe. Addressing her depressive phase, Anderson added, I don't know if, I've been, clinically depressed, but I don't mind feeling poetic or having dark days. Sometimes it's not just a day, sometimes it's a month, sometimes it's a year, and sometimes it takes a little time. And you can also numb yourself out. The Hollywood actress, who is parents to 28-year-old Brandon and 26-year-old Dylan with Lee, admitted that her boys were the ones who saved her from this fate, even if she understands that it is a heavy burden to place on their shoulders. She said, because without my boys, I wouldn't have been able to be as strong as I was, she said. The mother of two continued praising her sons, Dylan and Brandon, repeatedly referring to them as her grounding force. I had to be strong for my boys, and I also had to leave Tommy for my boys, and even though I married other people and I did other things, my intention was to create a family for them, Anderson said. She added, I hung around with a lot of fun artists. But I always had my kids and I always had rootedness, so I never went too crazy, even though it may seem like I did. I was always having a really good time and having fun, but I didn't go down any dark, dark paths. The Playboy legend, who has been sober for a long time, is also known for her activism with the animal charity PTA. She admitted that this helped her understand the context of her own fame and realized that it gave her a platform that she could use.